Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. If you guys like the video, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button. Maybe even consider subscribing for more. So we maxed the other night. We have finally done it on the Iron Man account. 2277 total has finally been achieved. And it's such this freedom that having um, where I don't have to go and do agility, for example. I can do kind of whatever I want. So step one of that process is to completely change the bank. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick scroll through the bank. Very, very messy. We're working here on some of it, but I want to make this bank beautiful by the end of this video. I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks on organizing your bank, and uh, hopefully by the end of it, we'll clear a lot of spaces out and have a beautiful looking bank. So one of the very first things you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and teleport to Draenor Village and speak to the wise old man. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right away. So the wise old man has this cool feature where you can actually sort through junk items. So if I go ahead and teleport there right now and talk to him, you guys will see exactly what I mean. So we're going to go ahead over there right now and talk to the wise old man and he'll sort these items for us so let's just go ahead and talk to him and he pretty much filters all the items that you do have in your your account your bank account and the ones that you don't need for anything anymore he will get rid of so if we go ahead and talk to him right here um and then just click more and then could you check my um items for junk please if you click that he'll take a second and uh okay so we clearly do not have too many the only junk items we have is the monkey speak amulet and the cat speak amulet. You could have a lot more, um, and if you want to get rid of them, all you have to do is click remove all. The next tip that I'm going to tell you guys is make sure to go ahead and build the costume room in your POH. This is super useful for storing tons of items. Like there is so many items that can be stored in here, like all of the um, random event items. We've got the holiday items one in here as well, which you can store all of the holiday rewards and just bunch of things so you can even store all the clue scroll rewards in here which is very helpful actually they take up quite a bit of bank space but uh yeah i'd highly recommend going through and trying to get as many items from your bank into your house the ones you don't use of course okay next you're gonna want to have general tabs that you would use and then you can go ahead and organize them after so the first tab usually people tend to keep like runes and stuff that they want to grab right away so we're obviously going to mess with this and take a lot of it out but the next tab i have would be the skilling tab which uh definitely needs some work and love in here as well this tab we might end up getting rid of this was a farming tab so i might try and work it into something else Maybe put it in the seeds because that's kind of the same thing, right? Herblore uh, needs a lot of work. This tab we might be getting rid of as well. Um, trying to make it more of uh, just a general drops and stuff. We can move it over. Skill capes tab, I mean, looks pretty good. The loot tab we'll be changing a little bit just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. And then we have the gear tab, which needs a lot of work. And this tab is probably where we can get rid of the most items possible a lot of this stuff i don't use obviously right and then you kind of want to just go through your your bank and pinpoint th things that you wouldn't use so obviously all the runes super useful pretty much all of them right maybe not body runes but we'll keep them in there anyways hammers yes we're going to be using hammers in the future chisels yes for birdhouse runs crystal saw of course knives of course Secateurs don't need these we have the green ones in the two leprechauns so we're gonna go ahead and take this out and remove the placeholder here spades yeah i use these because for clue scrolls right i don't want to have to go to a whatever that's called every single time um seed dipper we don't need that obviously this book of course we need this book it's a teleport money of course we need that marks of grace that's worth a lot of money right there Tinderbox don't really use it that much, but it is nice to have. Same with the pestle and mortar, but the gardening trowel, we don't need that. And pretty much, I'm just going to go through all of the items in the bank and see what we get rid of. I'll obviously show you guys everything I drop or get rid of. So for items like these, the amulet molds, we can easily go ahead and buy those back. So I really don't need them or want them in my bank because I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. I will probably buy them back when I make bracelets, but for now, they don't need to be in my bank. Okay, so this is like the first load of like junk. I'm gonna go ahead and price check it, obviously. 24,000 GP. I'm obviously keeping the feathers. Um, But yeah, not too much we're getting rid of, really. Just stuff that we don't need. 
And I decided to keep the uh, bracelet mode because I probably will be using that a lot more for Slayer, I feel like. But now somebody recently told me that I can use the ice gloves on the smith's gloves or something. Combine the smith's gloves with your ice gloves. Okay. Oh, and you can actually like dis dis dismantle them as well. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, I like that a lot. I should have known that um, while doing Giant's Foundry and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Do they look any different? Ooh, actually they look a lot better. That's very interesting. All right, so I put my prospector set in here. I'm gonna see what else I can store. And you can store the Smith's uniform as well. Now, it doesn't look like you can store the Colossal Blade, Double Ammo Mold, Mining Gloves, or the Ring. Hmm. That's unfortunate. This bank is gonna look phenomenal. I'm literally going out of my way to get like items that I don't have in the bank that I just wanna have placeholders there. This is so funny. I wish that was my pet, it's not. All right, so we, as you can see with the at the bottom here, we've been logged in for almost two hours now, just cleaning out the bank. It does, it's not even close to being complete, but I feel like we've made a little bit of progress cleaning up some items, high alking a bunch of stuff as well. I'll give, give you a brief uh, right now of what we've done. This tab I haven't touched yet, so. I decided to make the main tab look somewhat like this where I have all of the runes here, um, very important tools that you might need throughout the game, currencies, graceful, and I also put some extra stuff down here as well like the um, elite diary armor and stuff, and uh, all my clue scrolls which I have one of every, need to, need to do those. Um, skilling tabs looking pretty good as well. I didn't do much with the seeds tab, but I put the farming outfit in here. Haven't touched the herblore tab yet. Um, just been working on this right now, my drops tab. It's pretty empty because I elked most of this stuff. Uh, we still have 2,400 battle staffs. I need to do the gear tab. This tab looks pretty, pretty nice as well. I don't. There's some items where I'm like, do will I ever need this again? So it's kind of hard to do something like that. But uh, yeah, we're coming along. Okay, so the bank is not perfect, but at the very start of this, we had 795 slots. We brought that down to 739, so not too bad. We got rid of a decent amount of stuff. Have a couple new tabs actually in the bank as well, and I will be making a full detailed bank video soon, next week. But uh, this is how it's looking so far. So we have the main tab right here. Then we'll go through the skilling tab. Looks obviously a lot better. Seeds is looking pretty good as well. And then the Herblore tab, I just spent probably a good solid hour working on. I think it looks very good. It, pretty much the best I think I can possibly make it right now. Skill Keep tab looks a little bit better, just a little bit more organized. And obviously the Skill ta tab is the order I got them in. So the Drops tab, this is going to be the tab we are going to be just like dropping everything into. So I kind of combined my Zalra Vorkath tab into this, so it might not look the best, obviously, and there's just random things everywhere, but uh, this one is actually just like gear for not slaying. I kind of made this its own tab. The Barrow's armor down here, there's not much I can really do about. Um, and then this is the uh, Slayer tab. I think it looks a lot better, a lot more clean. Has everything that I would need for a Slayer task for melee, hybrid, range, and magic, so it's pretty decent there. And we also ended up making this tab look a lot cleaner as well. Um, so pretty much tips that I want to go ahead and give you guys is honestly just get rid of everything that you don't need. Unless you haven't finished the quest cape. Once you finish the quest cape, maybe add the achievement diary cape as well. But especially once you fi finish the first or your quest cape, you can do a decent haul out of your bank. And then for me now that I maxed, I wanted to do another haul out of the bank. Get rid of anything you don't use. It's just sitting there taking up space and it's a lot more efficient to just go to a bank that just looks this nice, easy to get everything, you know where everything is. And uh, honestly, really excited to make the bank video in full detail. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.